Daily Pink Slip. From Pez dispensers to golf balls, we're counting down 10 crazy memorabilia collections that will blow your mind. Number 10. Paul Mawinney has the biggest damn vinyl collection you'll ever see. When his personal hoard reached into the thousands, his wife gave him an ultimatum. Sell the collection or start up a business. He opened up Record Rama, which was a pretty successful venture. By the mid-1990s, he was bringing in around 5 million bucks a year, but by 2003, that number had decreased to only 500,000. When he closed up shop in 2008, he had over 3 million records in the collection. Holy crap. Number 9. Jim Blaine saw a Pez dispenser in a gas station and thought it was kind of cool, so he bought it. What he didn't know was that one purchase led to him owning about 17,000 versions of them. Despite the surplus of Pez dispensers, Jim only considers about 4,000 of them to be in his permanent collection. The rest he trades with people all over the world. He spent $250 on his most valuable dispenser, but when asked what his favorite was, Mr. Blaine replied, Oh, definitely the one with Ralph Macchio's head on it. Number 8. Jordan Michael Geller owns the world's largest collection of sneakers. Almost all of them are Nike, the undisputed king of the sneaker brands. With over 2,500 pairs in the collection, Jordan has opened up his own shoe museum. Here you can look at shoes you're not allowed to wear for $10 a ticket. The most expensive pair in the collection is a $7,100 set of Michael Jordan commemorative Converse. Jordan Michael's dream is to one day give a tour to Michael Jordan himself. MJ, however, was unavailable for comment. Number 7. Dick Falensky collects, well, yeah, golf balls. He does love the game, but for some reason he just can't get enough of collecting these spherical dimpled objects. With over 36,000 different golf balls in his collection, he's nearing his goal of 50,000, though his wife has stated that he might need a new wife by then. Dick stores these things all over the house in special shelves, coffee tables, and yes, even Victorian-style bathtubs. It's very clear that Dick is plenty happy with his balls. Number 6. Steve Sansweet loves Star Wars, so much so that he has the largest private collection of Star Wars crap this corner of the galaxy. A 37-year-long labor of love has resulted in over 300,000 unique Star Wars items. Lightsabers, whatever the heck this R2-D2 thing is, and even a full-size replica of the Cantina Band. Everything is housed in his museum, Rancho Obi-Wan, where he gives personal guided tours. In addition to the museum, he's also written something like 16 books about Star Wars. He might just be the finest nerd that ever lived. Number 5. Bob Bertal has been collecting comic books since 1970 and has no intention on stopping now. As of 2014, he has almost 95,000 unique comic books. Despite the apparent value of his collection, Bob admits that he's not in it for the money. He just likes to collect his favorite superhero stories and has no intention of selling them. His holy grail? Amazing Fantasy number 15, which contains the first appearance of his favorite character, Spider-Man. Sadly, this comic is still out of his budget. Despite not having that particular issue, he still manages to add about 140 comics a month to the collection. Sweet. Number 4. Mike Fountaine has been collecting McDonald's memorabilia for 45 years. As it stands now, he has over 75,000 different pieces in his collection. This guy's got it all. Cups, Happy Meal toys, giant statues of Ronald McDonald, and he even owns and operates his own Mickey D's. To quote Mike, we have a saying here, when you love this business, you have ketchup in your veins, which I certainly do. At press time, Mike's family members showed concerns of Mr. Fountaine literally replacing the blood in his circulatory system with McDonald's fancy ketchup. So far, no, he hasn't. Number 3. Angelica Unverhau has amassed a collection of about 220,000 ballpoint pens from 146 different countries. If you've ever wondered why the hell all your pens keep disappearing, now you have your answer. Number 2. Bette Nadorfman has the world record for the largest collection of Barbie dolls. With a collection of over 15,000 items, she started collecting in 93 and has no plans of stopping. The most valuable Barbie in her collection is the Barbie Ponytail Number 1, in mint condition with all accessories. It's worth just over 10 grand. Damn. Number 1. Billy Karam is a retired race car driver with an extreme love for the automobile. However, he couldn't buy all the cars he wanted in full size, so he went miniature. He has the world's largest toy car collection, with over 30,000 of these four-wheeled ankle breakers. If you thought your kids were bad with their toys, then just know, it could be a hell of a lot worse. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We put up brand new videos every week, so hit that subscribe button and you won't miss a single one. And remember, if you watched this video at work and you still have a job, then you just dodged the Daily Pink Slip.